South Road, South Road, South James, cheer with me. No, South Road, doesn't South Road. It it's meant to be like 90 here. What's gone wrong? South Road. We're going to U Pull It. Oh, mate, we're at U Pull It, and it's stinking hot. It's like proper Aussie summer hot. Yeah, that's toasty. Wow, the Daewoo's time has really come because, like, Daewoo's. Daewoo's, they're all the same Daewoo's. Daewoo's, they're just Daewoo's, <laughs> never ending Daewoo's. There it is, my least favorite model of Camry. I despise these. Let me smell the interior. Typical Camry. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, they all smell exactly the same. Actually, the Corolla smells just like this. <laughs> they all smell the same. It's a Toyota thing. I love this T-Bar Auto thing. Why, why can't we bring this back? Why can't we bring back the walking cane T-Bar Auto? Look at this. Forget your short shift, mate. Bring long shift back. <laughs> James went out. Daewoo, D-Tech. D-Tech kicked in, yo. Oh, boom, straight to the records. The ugliest little mammy box ever made. It's pretty bad. These are horrible looking. I see what they, like, they tried to get the swoop D, like with the rest of it. Yeah, it didn't work. And it, it just didn't work. These are a voxel in Europe, right? That's what these, these are just a voxel. And then like they will like marketed here as a Daewoo. Like as like their first go at cars. You're telling me something new. Really? Yeah. Wow. What I hate about these is this bit, this big slab of idiot plastic that just looks horrible. It's my least favorite thing of the car. These are rare now. Like you, you just don't see these. I wonder why. <laughs> All normal cars do this though. They just disappear. Chrome door handle. Ooh, bad smells. It's only been rolled once. Good. Yeah, it would come back. My dad had a wagon one of these and it was brown, the same amount of discoloration, and we called it the poo. Least favorite Camry, hiss. Oh, mate, the Commodores have shown up. Should be race ready in no time. <laughs> it had a, a boss kit put on it, so she was full race car, mate. Walking through Redback Woods. I know. When I was a kid, this was like the newest car to me when I was just getting into cars. And we were looking at a brand new one of these and my dad told me one day it would be a piece of junk rotting away. And I went, I couldn't believe it. And it means so much to me to finally see them rotting in a wreck. <laughs> it's just like, yep. Oh, these aftermarket lights, man. My mates had them, every, I think my brother had them. Everyone did and I hated them. Oh, this is such a 2007 Commodore. Like with these mag wheels, these aftermarket lights, like, yep. They hung like this when it was on the road. It's, oh, executive, top of the line. A Gemini. Yes, like this was like the proper world car. Every country had one of these. This is, oh, oh she's good. That'll be all right. <laughs> no, really, it is surreal. Like, you know, being in your 30s and you're just seeing all these cars that were so sparkling new when you were like a small child. And yep, here they are, rotten away. Oh, sweet combo van. I've always actually wanted one of these. <laughs> James, you hate these. My only experience is just struggling like hell to make it work. <laughs> It's just a Barina van, and like I had a Barina and I liked it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got mags! It was a race car, it's got racing damage. It's got racing weights, it was a race car. Someone tried to glue something to the walls and it didn't work. It was well ventilated. Old school purple looking tint, that's like the dodgy, like cheap eBay kind. And yeah, that's gross. This one's amazing, this is such a boomer's Commodore. Look mate, you got 2001, Port Adelaide member. You know, you just got the, the mystical birds things. But I saw on the front, I mean, there's this business going on. Wait, even this kind of stuff. Looney Tunes, what? Like, this is such a boomer's car, man. Looks like the huge sideswipe took it out. I bet you this was like the beloved family car that they never wanted to get rid of, even only ran on five cylinders, until it was sideswiped at the Maccas or something. I'm sorry, I didn't see the bonnet. <laughs> Mate, you got a Ned Kelly on there and everything. Ew. An Epica. This is the kind of car that killed Holden because GM was like, hey, let's have lots of small middling sedans with four cylinders. Well, let's just make like 16 different ones and then be surprised when none of them gets any market share. Yeah, it's just so cheap. Like you can see that's just like glued on from another factory. It's these are just nasty cars. This was like the beginning of end of Holden, if you ask me. Just shelling this kind of stuff. Look at the rust on this lad. This 90s Commodore. Mate, that's sunburn. That is not its original seat. That's like a 1970s bucket seat. Who bothered to lift that in here? Oh, look, another thing to do with Holden's death. Like the first Holden Cruise was just like the Suzuki Ignis, I think, yeah. before it turned into like the World Car Cruise or whatever it was. Like, what a mess. This is part of the same generation. It's just, what a mess. Oh no, a Holden Viva. I, I told you, like these are all the same flavor of thing. It's got the same badge on the thing. It does, 
It's the same idiot. It's the same guy every time. <laughs> James has said it's the same market niche competing against themselves when they were struggling against other brands. <laughs> like, doesn't make any sense. It made no sense. All we made was the Commodore, and that was it. Oh look. Like a 2007 Barina, again, of the same generation. There's that same stuck on Holden thing. My mum had one of these. It was, it was cheap and nasty. Controversial, as a kid, I actually kind of liked how these Vectors looked when they were brand new. I'm, I, I'm not sold. I, I, I actually thought it was kind of neat in like a really boring car kind of way. And like the older Vectors with the swoopy wing mirrors. Like that, it's over engineered in the wrong spot. Like they didn't make the car any good, but they made the swoopy wing mirrors and I liked it. Dude, like we're, we're just looking up like further on and there's just so many Commodores to go. <laughs> so many, we've already been through so many Commodores. Commodore wags, I quite like these just cause they're so square. It's just wagon and it's been crying. Dry your tears, you've been dead for years. These things that I've, I've, I've my- Yeah, golden holdings. Yeah, well, my mum's friend had a green one of these. Yeah. And she brought it around when she bought it. And yep. we thought it was the most space age thing. Uh -huh. it, was, it was amazing. Yeah, man. And now it's here. Yeah, yeah. A local had one of these in gold with the spoiler, golden holding like this, and with like the, the spec interior, which I think is pretty good. Not this one. Uh, not not yeah. that one. Same old Buick. But yeah, this was a space age car and here it is rotting. Mate, this is a Commodore that I knew. I had one of these as a kid. I had a V8 wagon one as well, and a V8 sedan, and a six cylinder just like this. Yeah, I had three of them. Ah, oh, old straight 202 blue motor. Oh, these just run so sweet. This one's remote control. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'll just take your word for that. Oh, green interior as well. Mine was green interior. That's so funny. Yeah, well, they did matching. So if you had a red one, you got a red interior. That was fun. 1984, it was just a German car with an Australian engine in it. Oh look, a Toyota Camry. Not wrong, you idiot. Mate, that's a Holden Nova. This isn't a Camry. Mate, she's an Apollo. <laughs> you guys are such idiots. Just holding right on the steering wheel, mate. Wait, hey, see? It's not a Toyota. Oh, the luxury 90s Commodore. Is this a Caprice or a Statesman? Stato, mate. Is it? Where? Take their word for it. Wrap around windows, mate. This was the luxury barge. And still a little bit cheap. Does it have the V8 though? <laughs> no, Buick V6. <laughs> now, I brought the thermometer with me because it's stinking hot today. And I'm like, who's got the hottest car in here? 57. That's, that's a good start. Someone needed the bum of an 80s Bluebird. Someone needed that, and they've just gone and taken it. Well, we're already done with this is mate. Now we're in Ford Town. Is that an EA? That's an EA. It's got the vents on the back. That's how you know it's an EA. These love blowing head gaskets. They loved it. Blow head gaskets all day. The awesome thing about these Falcon Utes is that that's what the back is. You just have the raw chassis, and whether you want like a body or a tray or a refrigerator back or anything, and then you just sit in like a comfy family car. Bring back the Utes. Whoa! Falcon SSV! I don't think that means anything. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I think someone's just put that on there because I think it says Ford Fairmont. Oh, James just noticed they've just put like the, the uh, FPV GT or something, Falcon GT bonnet bulges. Oh, that's disgusting. SSV means nothing. What does Cylons mean? I'm just getting mad at this car now. Cylons, SSV, bonnet bulges. I'm glad it's at the wreckers. Yeah, gross, ugly Falcon wagons. They're ugly, but they're all the best wagons, I'm telling you. Ah, oh, sweet AU Falcon in its final resting place. You rest good, mate. Uh, it's fun when I proclaim my love for the, the car, which is like the, the Euro Ford Nug, and it's just how all the German people say that they hate these because they just clock up the autobahns. <laughs> as soon as I see them, they go, oh. I hate these. I don't know why, I just hate these Elkin things, and they're basically a Gen 1 Kia Rio. They're made by Kia. But look, it's got a sporty spoiler. Wow. And they're everywhere. I mean, they're still on the road. They sold so many of these, but I don't know, I can't handle how flat-sided they are. They just have, like, they're devoid of all features. They look like an egg timer or something. This AU Falcon has a spare rocket cover holding its bonnet up. That's, I mean, who, whose is that? Because it's got one here. As James just pointed out, that's bug. <laughs> the way it crowds up around this. Mate, can you believe this went to the wreckers? This was so close to being saved, James. Like, it was so close. Someone wanted it. And someone just gave up. Most of these cars are broken windows, but gotta keep, gotta keep finding a winner. 67. What? 68. Yeah, now we're talking. And that's not an AU Falcon, that's a BA Falcon. And it's got a spare inner front 
guard mold to hold its bonnet up. An 80s Falcon U. Look at it. Look at that square roof, right? They drew it with a ruler and nothing else. That's a beautiful wagon. Center point injection. My brother had one of these with this exact same setup and it sucked. This is a horrible, horrible thing. It was a wagon too. Where's that fugly interior? It was such a cheap dashboard. <laughs> Someone painted their barra blue. Like, and it was all for nothing. It all just wound up in the wreckers anyways. Might have looked good for a bit. Now this is a country ute, mate. This is, when I was growing up, things like this were everywhere. Why did that need to be blue there? Why did that need to be blue there? I think the why does it have why Honda does the rest on it? of it need to be white? <laughs> it started out blue. It did! James is asking the right questions. It was blue. <laughs> That's a racing nugget. That did racing work. That's racing damage. Guaranteed. That's with the people trying to, to get into it because they wanted to, to meet the winner of the race. Ew, why is only the cloth missing from this seat? <laughs> Who needs the cloth from a race nugget? It was a race nugget! I knew it! What a beautiful machine. And you can see they really took their time masking off before painting. Come on, gross old Mazda. It's not bad. Mighty car mods, was this your doing? This looks like your handiwork, mate. S Coupe! The, the original kind of gross looking sports Hyundai. They are so gross. But yeah, I mean, it's the swoopy, chunky bits in the side, huh? Because it's two door, it should be good. But then, like, engineering wise, it's so uninteresting. Adelaide Metro seat covers on it. It's just not nice. Sigma wagon. It's a GH too. Yeah. Car was GH. Gosh. GH. You know, and a PT Cruiser. Oh, I love just how kind of straight they are. Oh, oh that's, this is earlier. That's nice. That's a color and a smell. This is what preceded the Magna. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what's next? <laughs> it's nothing but Magnas here now. Oh, it's so fitting to see the Sigma and then followed by the Magnas. You know, the, the original smoke blowing car, which is now BMWs I've noticed. It's always BMWs blowing smoke, but mate, stinking Magnas. Colt, one of my first cars was a Colt. Oh, James did point out all the windows are up so we can, we can see if it takes the record. I'm a little bit rusted. No, that <laughs> handle just stays like that. No. Oh. Uh, raw petrol smell. 43, 51, nah. Sigmas are so cool looking though. Mate, love me a Sigma. There's a lot of Sigmas here. This yeah, is I awesome. Didn't, I didn't expect that. Mm. I still haven't found one the same as mine though. Mm. Look at PT Cruiser, it's got big written on it. Magnus and Magnus and Magnus and Magnus and Magnus. I had a wagon one of them. It was horrible. <laughs> Magnus. Are those flames on a Mirage? They are. Oh, that's so tasteful. Wait, no. No, no, no. That's just someone going nuts with a ruck. That's not dirty at all. Not even a little bit. And that's a 380. That's what came after the Magna. It failed even quicker. These Magna wagons actually looked pretty good though. Like, they looked super, super modern. And look, an original Magna. That's so good, mate. We got the whole set here. <laughs> My brother had one of these. It was awesome. <gasps> the windows are rolled up. Come on, baby. Come on, here we go. Ooh, come on. Can anyone get into the 70s? Bah, 65. Favorite little sedan, but they had to applause. It's just something funny about a small sedan. Shut up, I didn't sanction that. This car will be okay. It'll be all right. Oh, a mirror. Yeah, Magna Wags. Oh, nice, nice body repairs. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably how they did it at Tonsley. This AU Falcon has a cooling reservoir to hold its bonnet up. Old Triumph. Yep. This it's... one, yeah, the white one here. This is Aussie body. Yeah, Aussie exclusive. <laughs> so... Amazing. This is actually an awesome looking old Audi. Oh, that's neat. Old subs are awesome. It's a shame they had to go. Oh, what? Someone painted this. Someone had a yeah, go at yeah, getting this back. They gave up. That's sad. More awesome old subs with this wacky bonnets. Oh, old XJ, awesome. You never see these around here anymore. Look, a limo one. You can see extended rear doors yeah. for fitting in big, fat, rich people. It wasn't as wild for the Jags with these kind of fronts where they tried to modern them up a little bit with the square. Yeah, I'm not. It, yeah, it just didn't do it for me. I see rust and it's a Passat. Oh, that's beautifully aged. <laughs> I'd love to get that back on the road. It looks like it's got chicken pox. Oh, this one had melty times. Really melty times. That's aggressive. Can't believe the rest of the car didn't go up. Oh, yeah. That's plastic intakes for you. Ugh. Wow, that got hot. <laughs> Gross. Mm. It's like, it looks like a poo. <laughs> Mate, one last try at to, to try to break into the 70s. This guy's got all of its, all of its things wound up. 75! <laughs> oh. 
Whoa! <laughs> oh, I got my wish. I'm glad I can't sit in it. That is boiling hot. Oh, and like, there's no conclusion to the video, by the way. That's it. We like, we went to you, pull it, and we looked at things. And now I'm looking at Frank, who's sleeping like this. Frank's still around, guys. That is not comfortable, Frank. The, the video's over.